Before we start, I want you to hit the red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Explosion. My 600 Pound Life is a reality TV series that chronicles the lives of people that are grappling with morbid obesity. The goal is to chronicle their struggles, establish the best way for each individual to drop some weight. And, like any other reality TV show, there are some things that are not real or presented differently for the sake of creating dramatic and entertaining television. Here's some of them which made it boring for the viewers to stop even watching the show. Dr. Yoonin is in it for the money. There's a common misconception out there suggesting that Dr. Yoonin, aka Dr. Now, participates in the show for the huge payout, which is actually the case. In actuality, he oftentimes doesn't even get paid for all the work he does, which is claimed by him, but it turned out that it is not true at all. Some patients of this show have not had the financial means required to help themselves with this weight loss process, so they are rejected from the show. The peak of hypocrisy to us is that the list quotes him as saying, We don't need to be rich, we do make a living, but we don't need to worry about making a living out of every patient we see. Yet the reality is totally different. Ironic. Patients are paid. Big bucks. One would assume that after literally bearing it all for the sake of the show, these participants are being handsomely compensated. Well, actually this is true. Patients have their medical and surgical bills covered by the show, but beyond that, all they're sure to see is a $1,500 talent fee. Not just that, but at times they are paid heavily for their appearances for the show to put up moments up on the small screen to share with the world. Patients lie about their pain. The lying need to stop now. Okay, Shanae? This point may be very difficult for someone who is in relatively healthy shape to understand. It's important to note that some of these morbidly obese individuals are experiencing an incredible amount of pain, but at times, it was found that patients faked it on the show. It may be difficult to perceive that sometimes sitting still for most of the day could be in any amount of pain, so what they do is that they start faking it out to get sympathy on the reality TV show for the ratings. Weight loss surgery is no quick fix. Well, it is a really obvious fact that weight loss surgeries are no quick fix, and some people do go on My 600 Pound Life with that attitude thinking that weight loss surgery will make them thin without them having to make any lifestyle changes. But that's definitely not the case. A few patients on the show didn't change their lives for the better because they continued to eat compulsively and refused to move. One especially infamous participant named Peggy Seeger once complained on the show, Where's my yellow brick road? Because she didn't lose much weight. Meanwhile, she refused to even get out of bed. As Dr. Now often says on the show, weight loss surgery is a tool to use towards a greater goal. While bariatric surgery will shrink the size of the stomach significantly, thereby lowering the capacity of food that it can hold, that alone will not automatically spur weight loss. Adhering to the diet and exercise program the doctor prescribes is essential. Every patient gets a follow-up episode. I've gone from barely being able to move and just sitting and eating all day to being constantly active all day long. Some patients get follow-up episodes and we are able to see what they've been up to after surgery. Others simply do not get any additional exposure, which is very worrisome. Let's face it, this is reality TV. The producers won't go out of their way to do a follow-up show with someone that doesn't find great success after their treatment. The show only features a select few people for their follow-up shows and they make it sure that they highlight the best, most successful stories while turning a blind eye on the others. Again, quite ironic for the show. Not every patient has an inspiring story. The show prides itself and connecting real emotion from viewers. By telling the tales of patients involved, viewers feel the tug at their heartstrings and get pulled in. But there were times when these stories were faked. Yes, the producers highlight the storyline behind each person's struggle and that really resonates with the audience. However, not every participant has a dramatic or unique story to share in relation to their obesity. At times, there just isn't a juicy storyline to accompany a patient. And the fact is, they just somehow ended up in a predicament and are getting real to try to resolve it. The patients don't always lose weight. The the premise of the show is to document success stories and provide hope for others by demonstrating clear weight loss results. Unfortunately, in spite of the show's efforts to pretend that each case ends with wild success, it's simply not the case, pun intended. Many people don't see the results they expected and the show ultimately fails to assist them. One particular patient by the name of Penny stands out as a clear example. Her niece took to Scrib to discuss the fact that weight loss is connected to emotional and psychological conditions as well as physical ones, in an attempt to highlight the fact that even after surgery, Weight loss is not guaranteed. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed. Hit like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, make sure to watch the next two videos on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.